going on everyone today i'm going to show you the potential future of video games using generative ai this is pretty amazing from a technical standpoint so what i'm going to show you today is oasis and they call it the first real-time generative ai open world model so if you've been following the ai scene i think about three four weeks ago google released a video of doom where it was doom but it was being generated by AI. This is different. This is an actual real-time game that you can play that looks and plays like Minecraft. So here are their little videos and you can swipe through and you can see all the different ones. If you keep scrolling down, it shows you, you know, real-time generative AI experience, cutting a AI, and they have all these different stuff, publications, so on and so forth, but let's try it. Uh, so uh, first let's get the music going because, you know, we got to get the full experience. It's nice and relaxing. And now we can hit start and it says we are about to enter a first of its kind video model a game engine trained by millions of gameplay hours every step you take will shape the environment around you in real time so this isn't like a pre-made game this is literally being generated uh by tons of little images to create a game world around you it's kind of incredible uh, how well it runs all considering you're going to about to see. Uh, they have this upload your own scene that you want to play. I've tried it a few times. I have not been able to get it to work, we, but we have all these different areas. So I'm going to do this village outpost and you're going to see we are going to um, teleport to the world and here we are. So as you can tell, it looks like Minecraft and I am running. I'm just going to run at like full speed and you can see how it can keep up with me. Uh, as I'm running. So here, I'm going to run forward now, and you can see it's pretty good. Uh, this is generating in real time. Uh, we can break blocks. It is effectively Minecraft. Uh, kind of cool. Um, so it works pretty well. The only problem with it is, if you noticed already, uh, where did the village go? It disappeared. So here, I'm going to show you something. And because it is generating on the fly, we can see we have a, what is that, a cow? Is that a cow? It's a little bit blurry. Um, but there's some sort of animals here, and there's just big stone mountain. So I'm going to spin right, and now I'm going to spin back left, and it changed. Uh, but if I keep spinning, and spinning spinning you can see as you spin your scenery just changes so i there was like a fence there a second ago hey wait look see now there's a village so uh it's good in the sense that you can go back and forth and stuff that gets generated on your screen does not disappear but in terms of like spinning around it is regenerating a new world as you play uh so just as a little tech demo uh this is absolutely incredible because we have like a generated minecraft world and i mean granted it doesn't look great but if you understand what's happening from a technical perspective this is pretty incredible tech but even with its drawbacks and pitfalls it's still really cool tech so uh that is today's video i just want to cover it i think it's really cool and i just wonder what is the future of video games uh do you see generated worlds uh do you think like we're gonna have characters that are able to talk like computer players are going to be more interactive now uh you might have different stories or the story might change and as you play through it uh you might have differences and i think it might provide uh, a better game experience i'm not entirely sure about like a massive open world generative ai game uh but i can totally see it and i think it'd be really cool especially i'm just kind of thinking like uh you know a game where you're like flying through space and all these worlds generate and stuff like that but there should be a way where the seeds, the generation uh, seed, stays the same based off of where you are. So it's still different as it generates through, but it should change as you go. Uh, but those are my quick thoughts. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more AI content. We'll see you in the next one. Subscribe to Franklin, join the ride In this journey side by side Tech and wonder far and wide Franklin's world, come on